This is Outdated, and welcome to episode 26 of Game Pass Passport. Today we are stamping our passport for a place we visited before, Hell. But in this case it is a different interpretation of Hell, because we are looking at the retro shooter Into the Pit. Now I've already played a little bit of the game. I haven't played much, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try and check this thing out. So this is very much, uh, well, a retro shooter. It's it's pixelated. You can tell by some of the stuff at the bottom, but it's still like really good looking despite the pixelation. As you can see, they're trying to make it look modern, but with all the pixelation and all that being here. All right, what do we have? Whoa. Ah. Outlander, you went in, into the pit and returned. Was anyone down there? Any villagers worth their salt would have found shelter and burned that pungent purple weed to fend off the demons. Look for the smoke. The town clerk. You might also have found traces of the other stranger, Loridia. She came here weeks before you, laden with books and tools. I think she was looking for the alderman, but he had already vanished into the pit. Perhaps you can find her still in the depths. Okay, so a little side quest there, or is it to set up flavor? I don't know, but let's head on down. Okay. Key slot is empty. Key to the obsidian fort. This glinting rune unlocks a labyrinth of stone full of foul beasts and evil traps. Okay. Ritual rune. Let's see. You receive increased damage for all sources, but gain an extra moat each time you collect one in the pit. Okay. Rune of early renewal. Begin each journey into the pit with a small amount of moats of renewal. Okay. Rune of second wind. Begin each journey into the pit with a cheat death ability. Already partly charged. Nice. Rune of health. Begin each journey into the pit with additional health. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, I know the other one probably sounds better, but still. Oh, these look like they're the same each time. I'm just going to stop there. Wait, whoa, whoa. I don't think that actually... Yeah, it did. Okay, okay. A lot, I mean, the pixelation is very, very obvious, but that's the point. It's supposed to look retro and yet also awesome. Let's hop on in. Okay, that didn't work. I haven't played this in a while. Well done, Outlander. You managed to descend from the level above. Now you are familiar with how these chambers work. Be sure to look out for my lost friends. There are a number of villagers hiding within each dungeon. If you can find any chambers of the lost and speak to them, I'm sure they will feel safe returning to the village. If enough return, they might be able to offer you further help there. All right, so... Trying to remember how I progress. And this is apparently not where I progress. So let's head this way. I already talked to you, bellboy. Uh, let's see. The Enchanter. Have you found any villagers yet? With nine or so villagers to consult with, I might be able to help you with my enchantments. Make it kind of clear what I need to do. The problem is remembering how, like, where to go to do it. I still think it's down here. Let's see. Maybe we have to do something here. Confirm ritual. There it is. I'm dumb. Okay, let's do this. In we go. 
Way. The Obsidian Fortress Depth 1. So this plays like a first person shooter, but you'll have an ability in each hand. And that ability in each hand is fired with each trigger, if I remember correctly. So, you know, think of it like a dual wielding game, you know. I can't remember if that's... Yeah, that's how Halo 2 worked back when they first introduced dual wielding. Kind of like that. But you're dual wielding, um, like, spells, you know. So, also like Skyrim, where it allows you to, like, put a spell in one hand and a different spell in another. It's kind of like that. Oh, okay. Oh, settle. Okay. All right. Acquire a defensive power. Haste plus one, increase your movement speed. That's not bad. Frenzied Resentment plus one. Chance to enrage after being injured. Rage increases your damage for a short time. Oh, that sounds nice. Final Barrier plus one. Reduce incoming damage when you are at low health. Hmm. Refresh choice. Oh, thank you. Oh, I still have to do stuff. Whoa, 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 settle. I have to actually do my loadout. That's what I'm doing here. So what do I want to my right hand? The cannon fires bursts of long-range projectiles. Absorb this power into your right hand. The swarm fires mid-range scattering projectiles. And then the bomb fires slow-moving but explosive long-range projectiles. Okay, I'm going to go with the cannon in my right hand. Swarm in the left. So the swarm on my left is like the shotgun, right? Now I've actually cleared some of these before. Let's see. Alright, let's do this. Chamber of Wealth destroyed two keystones. There's somewhat something here. That doesn't work. Aha, there you are. Finding it helps, and this I need to like change the sensitivity on that. Alright, clear the level. The time was way too long, but I will totally take that. Virtual Chamber Death of One. Alright, what is this? Piercing. Projectiles from your left hand can pierce through enemies. Okay. Projectiles from your right hand plant a seed that has a chance to explode on the enemy on the enemy's death. Hmm. Deflection. Deflect back a percentage of melee damage. Let's go with that. We will take the upgrade. Why not? Okay, now you see those are all wonky looking, because I've cleared them. So let's try one of these, shall we? Chamber of Embers. Okay, this opening room isn't that much different than the last one. Where 
do? Ooh. Some sort of scorpion thing. Oh, nice. Whoa. Didn't mean that. Didn't mean to do that. Darn. I have no idea where I am. Where are you? I can hear you coming. Let's get by. Grab an ember. Okay, you know what? That was, that was okay. That was alright. We're gonna try that again. Got you. Solving you. One of two. Wait a minute. Why is there one of these over here? leads somewhere, doesn't it? I'm not sure what this is for, but it feels like it should... I, did I just clip through the background? No, that's not the one that I had. This guy here. Oh, God. Oh. Dottie. Come on. The Obsidian Fortress, Depth 1. I will take it. What's my reward this time? Venom Bolts. Projectiles from your left hand apply poison to your enemies, causing damage over time. Sweet. Executioner plus 1. Projectiles from your right hand can increase damage to enemies under 20% health. Oh, so I can like, finish them off quicker. Nice. Venom Eater. When you are poisoned, your damage is increased. Oh. Makes it sound like I won't be dealing with some poison. Um, hmm. Do that. Okay. So we've cleared these two. Let's do these two. Notice I do not get any additional health. Feels like an ambush, yep. Very ambushy. They're also very dead. Two. Done. Trying really hard not to get hurt here. Because with health only at 82. Hey, dude. Where would the other one be? This way? Sure is bloody over here. Did that one, David. It must be over here. Moat. Thank you.
done. Cleared. Nicely done. Chamber of Luck complete. I missed two moats. Oh well. Okay. Now for my reward. What is my reward going to be? Far sight. Projectiles from your left hand have increased range. Ooh. Accuracy. Projectiles from your right hand have increased critical hit chance. Nice. Killing Frenzy. Chance to enrage after killing an enemy. Rage increases your damage. Um. Let's go with the accuracy. Okay, we got one more altar to do. It's this one, so let's do this. Here we go. The, all right, now this starts off differently. That's nice. fast I do it. I'm just worried that I do it. Crap, just got hit. See you there. Come on. Gotcha, that's two. Oh, oh hi, dude. Didn't realize you were here. So sorry. And let's clear it. Done. Chamber of Renewal. Took that one out. We missed one moat. Let's see what's upgrade. Explosive seed plus three projectiles from your left hand. Plant a seed that has a chance to explode. Um, and that's 45% of the time. That's sweet. That's very sweet. Um, let's go with this. that mean? All altars active. Exit to further depths available. So yeah, once I clear all these altars, it gives me this. Whoa. 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 Dive deeper into the pit. Now we're at depth two. So everything should be more difficult here. So let's go ahead and check out one of these areas, see what it's like. But let me, I can say this. I need to slow down my, uh, Sensitivity, I feel like I'm having a hard time with that part. Um, it does move super, super fast. But the rest of it is just fantastic. It feels good. Um, it looks good. Even with the pixelation, that is a very intentional choice. It's it's kind of like the original Doom, but, you know, like as if it were made with a more modern machine. And it is just quite fun, honestly. So here we go. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's do this one. Chamber of Wealth again. That looks like a trap. That is, I'm leaving it alone. Done. 
I did. Whoa. What in God's name are you? Well, there are two of you. I'll give you that. The shield's gonna make things more difficult. Thanks for dropping it, though. Let's take this. Gotcha. Notice even when I change these areas. Haven't gotten any more health. This is kind of like a roguelike too, because the deeper you get. All right, let's take a look. Slicing bolts protect us from your left hand. Apply bleeding to your enemies, causing damage over time, especially when moving. They're already going to be poisoned. Huh. Persecution plus one protects us from your right hand. Do extra damage to enemies with two or more afflictions. Increasing your rage plus three. Increase the extra damage applied by your rage. Let's go with slicing bolts. But OP with that, with the whole like annoying them thing. How are we doing on time? Twin oh yeah, we're gonna do another one for sure. Let's do this one here. I'm just kind of taking the ones on the left. You can pick either one you want. But I'm just totally picking at random here. Oh boy, what are you? Something that blows up. Great. Oh hey. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Well, that big circular thing. I feel like there's something nearby. There he is. Oh, shield boy, here he comes. Is it not poison anymore? I don't know if you I guess so. Got you. Ooh. Oh! Why are you glowing and such? Not what I wanted to do, but okay. Let's just go ahead and do this one here. I really need to get this camera sensitivity under control. I don't think I'm going to survive this one. I need more precision than I'm getting right now. Oop, whoa. Not the plan. Alright, we'll take it. Quite well, my friend. Boom, got it. I only have 39 health to make it through this. That's the other one right there, isn't it? I feel like there's something nearby. Wait a minute, where are you? Just a window looking thing. Alright, let's clear it. Cleared it. Done. Oh, almost all the moats. I did kill all the demons. And here we go. Get our upgrade. Slowing bolts. Projectiles from your left hand apply slow to your enemies, reducing their movement speed. Piercing plus one, protect us from your right hand, cause piercing through enemies. And then this one, let's just increase my movement speed. Okay. 
we're in, you know what, let's go and try one more, because I don't think I'm going to survive it. So, let's see what happens when I die. Because I feel like I'm going to die this time. Whoa. Those exploding ball things, that's what they do. Right, 27. Alright, that's one. Somebody's coming. Oh, there we go. Almost dead. But we cleared it. Nice. Nicely done. Oof. There's so little health though. I do not know if I can go past this at all. Um, persecution. Projectiles from your left hand do extra damage enemies with two more effects. Critical breath. Projectiles from your right hand will critically hit if you have not cast from your this hand for a few seconds. Oh. No melee attacks will do that. You know what? Let's take it to the house, shall we? Let's try this last one. Oh wait, or can I return to the village here? Huh. Let's see what happens when I do, because we're we're about to end the episode anyway. You can use this portal to return to the village. This will end your current dungeon run. Your powers will be removed, but you can keep any loot you have found. Okay. Let's do it. Because I don't think I'm going to survive the next one with 15 health. I just don't see that happening. Better to come back, use what loot I've got to maybe get some sort of permanent upgrades, and then come back and do some more of this stuff. Welcome back to the village. Okay, so, look at the big tentacle thing out there. This is very, very, um, HP Lovecraft, Call of Cthulhu kind of thing. Definitely. Alright, let's see, is there something here I can do? You must delve deeper, go further into the pit, until you have found my friends. I fear that even our precious alderman might well be lost down there, or worse. Whoa, come on. I've told you, I won't start the forge until you have shown your metal and rescued some of my fellow villagers. Once you have return, returned three or more of the village, uh, more to the village, come and see me again. Okay, so you have to, like, save people, and it unlocks these different merchants and stuff. To, so as you go deeper, you have more abilities. So, um... You know what, I've really enjoyed this. Um, this is really, really fun if you're into retro shooters, if you're into um, cosmic horror kind of stuff, if you're into Doom, that sort of thing, especially the original Doom, but even the modern Doom, it plays a lot like that. Maybe not the verticality and the move, and the jumping around and the smushing people with your feet, but everything else. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Game Pass Passport, and if so, please like and subscribe. I upload a Game Pass Passport every Saturday. Just looking at a game that has been added to Passport to to Game Pass to see if it's worth checking out, and for the most part, in my personal opinion, they have been, with the exception of Surgeon Simulator 2, because that's just not my kind of thing. And I am going to be trying something in a similar vein to see if that I enjoy that a little better. So um, we'll be seeing that in an upcoming episode. But until then, this has been outdated, and I will see you next time on Game Pass.
passport. 